talking about people that should kill themselves. Do you think Kylie Jenner should kill her <laughs> <laughs> for her donation to her friends GoFundMe? Uh, this is a tricky thing with being rich. You can't help nobody publicly if you don't do the whole thing. <laughs> I'm saying, bro, you know that's her mistake is posting to try to get like if she just gave the money on the low and let them talk about it. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Kylie Jenner paid all this money. Blah blah blah. But the second she was like, "Hey, I gave you know fifty cents for me or whatever. Can y'all give a significant more amount of money?" But yeah. it's also not fully fair because apparently their goal I'll was be like looking through GoFundMe's if it's like a friend of mine to see how cheap. People I know are <laughs> <laughs> like, like I remember there was one for the seller. Hey, if you see a dollar from anonymous, that's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there was one for the seller. Somebody had, I forget who needed some shit. The seller, maybe somebody died, and I was looking through, mm -hmm. and I was looking to see how much, and I was like, let me see how cheap these rich motherfuckers. Really <laughs> you judging the rich ones though, right? And I'm looking through, and I think Amy Schumer. I got to Amy Schumer, and I was like wanting to hate, and she dropped like twenty grand on it, and I was like. All right, bitch. <laughs> hey, you good. You good today. <laughs> you good today. You joke stealing ass, bitch. <laughs> you might as well put that money to good use. <laughs> she donated to the guy she stole jokes from. She's like, here you go. You can have it back. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> nah. Uh, but yeah, man. She So the, the story is that, Akash, can you break down the so story? So from what I understand, it, she had a makeup artist that she stopped working with in like 2015. He got in a car accident. But he's still close friends with her current makeup artist. Mm. So she was trying to help them out and she just posted about it. And the initial goal, I, th I think, was like $10,000. Gotcha. And she gave five and that put them over the top of their goal. So she got them to the, to the goal. But then everybody kept coming to the page. And so the family, which I can't really, it's funny, but I can't really blame them, was like, we might as well raise the fucking goal. I mean, people are coming. <laughs> wow. So they raised it to 60000 and now she looks cheap as fuck with her $5,000 donation. Oh, so they fucked her over. I think that's, yeah. Uh, I mean, TMZ, I think, was the article I read, but I could also see them wanting to maintain a good relationship with the Kardashians. They must have raised it again because it's at 120 Is it really? right now. There you go. So, yeah, that's, that's they'd be the raising right it. right now. All right, see, that's that's interesting. Yeah. that's Now there's more context because everybody who's absolutely shitting all over Kylie yeah. on the internet because like, oh, you only gave 5000 when, you know, their goal is 75000 or whatever. Yeah. But also, didn't Kylie, like, pump it? She was like, yo, if you guys can donate, donate to this. Yeah. She did pump it, but she also met the goal. Right. So she's like, she's going, oh, this is all you need. I got you. I'm going to pay for your medical bills. Yeah. They're saying, they're basically like, my medical bills are ten grand, yeah. right? So she's like, Ah, there you go. It's paid yeah. for. And now people are criticizing her on the internet for not paying the amount that they need yeah. after they manipulated the amount that they need yeah. so they can get more nah. money in. But the fact that she post the GoFundMe on the Before page. Before we talk about this anymore, your family didn't move the amount for the GoFundMe, did they? No. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> the fact that she said, hey, people, go to the GoFundMe, that means the, the money wasn't met yet. The amount wasn't met yet. No, uh, just because the money's met doesn't mean that you can't continue to get more. Uh, but the family probably went, well, if it's met, then motherfuckers ain't going to donate. But yeah. if it looks like we need some more money, uh, that's why every good deed goes, what is it? No good, no good deed, deed goes, goes unpunished. unpunished, man. Isn't that fucked up? She did the right thing. Here I am about to trash this bitch. <laughs> yeah. When she did the right thing, you need to get to a certain amount. I yeah. got you because that's what it costs to fix your fucking leg or whatever it is. Yep. And all of a sudden when motherfuckers start donating, your leg needs more fixing. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I got to pay that your disability? That should be illegal, bro. No, that's fucked up. That is nah. fucked up. up. I still think it's fucked up because if he was the makeup artist that took her from ugly to how she looked when she was 18. That was surgeons, dog. Wasn't no makeup. Nah, and also nah, it was 2015. It was a... That's 2015. true. 2015. She got rid of that motherfucker when she glowed up. Uh, now, how old is she right now? That's, I think. 23 years old in 19 days. In the <laughs> <day>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, no, no. So now, how old is she? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Let me check. She 23, 23 is a, you're a creep. <laughs> 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 as of june 3rd 19 <laughs> no but that's what's crazy is that means if she if she was working with him back then mm -hmm. she was under 18 yeah maybe tiger didn't like her you know what i mean nah maybe that's all but it was. she had a biggest My glow up when she was working with him raping me doesn't like you so i have to move on yeah. i don't know she had the whoa, biggest whoa, glow up whoa, when she was dog, with him. putting that on tiger <laughs> yeah bro. yeah come on they son they weren't having sex or nothing yeah yeah i mean <laughs> come, on, come on bro son. why would you even say that it's bro? tiger right Tiger's <laughs> chilling bro he's just dicking down yeah Yo, you're right i'm sorry tiger yeah you think that big old dangle angle fitting an underage girl <laughs> <laughs> come on dude i'm sorry dog i'm sorry bro 
Allen. I took a shot unnecessarily for, this guy's a, for legend. a cheap laugh. <laughs> <laughs> cheap laugh. Yeah, you know who else is cheap? <laughs> <laughs> No, I now I feel bad for Kylie, man. She's a victim, the right dude. Thing, bro, she the victim. Though. I see it both ways. Where it's like, if she were you to would, donate, you fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 if okay. she were to donate sixty thousand, that's like like one fraction, like tiny fraction of her net worth. So she could just meet it and be like, whatever. Assuming that they didn't move the goalposts and the whole deal. Yeah. But at the same time, I also don't like when people criticize rich people for not donating enough because it's like you can donate that percentage of your net worth. You know what I mean? When people are like, oh, Jeff Bezos can donate all this money to stop hunger in America. Yeah. It's like you could donate 5% of your net worth to feed a homeless guy, but you don't do that. That's a good argument. You know what I mean? That's a good like, argument. So it too. bugs me when people criticize You're just people. offloading your guilt. Yeah, exactly. Like when yeah. people criticize rich people yeah. for not doing enough, it's like you can do 5% of what you have. Yeah. Like, but you don't do that. But you are expecting this guy to do 5% of what he has? Some people might make the argument that like he has more money than there are things to buy. Right. Yeah. So like that percentage is a little bit different, but mm -hmm. whatever. That's I, fair, but I, it doesn't I exonerate saying. you from having it done. You can, Exactly. Yeah. yeah. 100%. I just feel like if they move the goalposts, she's getting all this shit. And they, they owe her an apology. Like, cause she's the only reason that they're getting a hundred something thousand yeah. dollars in, right? hundred percent. This poor girl. That's why if you're rich, you can't fucking help people, man. Mm. You gotta do it quietly. You really gotta do it. And you gotta be careful who you help. Like, like our, our boy Abdi was trying to get me to like donate money to get this Somali dude from Somalia yeah. into Turkey to get a fucking like uh, liver transplant or some shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, bro, 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 bro. Do you know who they are? And then it's like, my mom saw him on TikTok. And I'm like, buddy, I can't donate thousands of dollars to a random Somali group. And then it comes out later, it's a fucking terror organization. They use that shit to blow up a fucking grocery store. And now I'm the person that funded blown up the grocery store. Right. I need more than just a TikTok video to verify right. that this thing is legit. What if it's just pirates? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's I, I'd actually like yeah. to yeah. yeah. sponsor a pirate, yeah. player, bro. Yeah. Owning like a pirate. You want to give the pirates some booty? Yeah. 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 I don't know booty. why they don't do that for those like commercials where they show all the kids. And what? Like, like where you can like <laughs> donate money. Where just have like, a little fucking pirate yeah. standing yeah. yeah. there. Yeah. Don't play write me a letter. Just be like, ar. Like, <laughs> I want an audio of you going. Yeah. Arr. I don't want in the arms of an angel. You know what I mean? I want to row your boat or something. Like, <laughs> actually, I like the idea that like they're criminals. Like they're doing you know fucked up shit on the seas. But it don't seem that bad. Like, do people die with the pirate ship shit? Yeah. I don't ah. think they die. Because we don't bro. know any. We don't know anybody that's on sea like that. And nobody cares. Son, if you get your die. boat robbed, you're a bitch. <laughs> Yo, if you get your whole boat robbed, you're yeah. a bitch. Yeah. Somebody pulls up a little skiff. You got some Somalis on the back of it kicking their legs mad hard to get it to catch up to your ass. And then they steal all the containers on your boat. Yeah. I can't wait till he buys a boat. I know. Because like, you know that time is coming. <laughs> Let me tell you something. And you're going to buy a boat. Hey, boats are the shit. <laughs> nah, out. boats are. Hold on. Shout out. We got to shout out the company that took uh, us out, man. Shout out our boy Robert, bro. Yeah, Robert Taylor. Shout out Robert Taylor. Yo, shout out Robert Taylor. Robert Taylor is Downtown out here Exotic in Miami. Rentals. Downtown underscore exotic underscore rentals. They have... Some amazing boats. If you're in Miami, you want to take a boat out. This is a, a, a plug that we do 100% supportive of. This guy was absolutely amazing. Took us all out for Alex's B day. Yeah. We had an incredible time. Amazing boat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bro. And uh, yeah. yo, thank you so much, Robert. He's a fan you're of the party. Man. He's, he's, a, fan of, he's yo, a, listen, he's asshole. Asshole Army provides. I'm telling you, we always try to keep the asshole over here. So if you are coming to Miami or going to any other city, shout to the assholes. See if they got anybody in the city that can help you out with what you need to do. Telling you, Robert got it locked down. We're on that fucking boat. Yeah. And. I don't know how expensive maintaining boats are and all that kind of shit, but there is something about being on a boat, and I don't understand why, but every second of it feels purposeful. Mm. You're, you're not doing nothing different than what we're doing right now. But you're going somewhere. You're going somewhere? You don't know where you're going. You're going somewhere. You're going in circles. No, and you're, then you're going you somewhere. stop. You put the anchor down, and it's still fun. Yeah, you're taking a break from going somewhere. Mark, you're not saying anything? <laughs> yeah, no. But you're right, but That's you're not saying, saying anything. It's like we're on a boat. Why the <laughs> fuck is the boat so entertaining? Yeah, I don't know. Please explain this to me. I felt relaxed the one time I was on a boat, but that's it. Oh, you weren't with us again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you left us again? You wouldn't yeah. hang out with us again? Yeah, y'all should be seeming too high, like high intensity. You Mark, wouldn't go on a boat? I. <laughs> I Hold on, you wouldn't go on a boat, bro? What do you mean you wouldn't go on a boat? What are we doing on this boat? Oh my gosh. 
Bro, we play dominoes. We play Uno for like hours. Yo, dude, I'll play. take back my invitation for Nashville. Where, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, no. No. It's because it's not the top of a train. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you would go. That's on, purposeful. There we go. Now you're going somewhere. Now that's, you go? that's exciting. You, you can you only go one. You're in the sand lot. You're yeah. in another part of the sand lot. Uh -huh. Bro, we see in the sand.